last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. In fact, it's Toko. No mystery there. Like, pff, it's Toko. There you go. It's Toko. What? And now, back to trying to ditch school. You just do it. It'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, today night here again, and it's almost 7 a.m. on the, the April 27th, 2020, and I am back for more Trigger happy, ha trigger trap, trigger, tr trigger happy havoc. Last time we started Chihiro's murder trial, and we found out that the Tagami. Did little, some bad stuff. Why? As we'll find out. Let's do it. It's a yawn. Can I get through this whole trial? In one setting? I don't know. Let's find out. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. Because up until we actually discovered the body, we couldn't have known who the victim was. So your claim that you went to the girl's locker room first because Chihiro was the victim doesn't hold up. I see. That's a good answer, I must admit. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But your reasoning is still too weak. <sighs> Dance for me, peasant. Dance. What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead. Show us. What's with Tagami's attitude? Like he doesn't even care. I got him cornered. But he's acting like it has nothing to do with him. What's the matter? You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. There is. I think. <sighs> Come on. Come on, I need some Nagi power. There is more to it. Think about it. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. Oh? Proof that I'm the culprit, you mean? Like, I'm not even giving you the time of day. Differences between this case and other genocide track murders? Evidence that the proof Tagami is responsible is hidden in there? What could it be? Like fists. Where'd you get it from, huh? I've never seen that <coughs> rope before in my life. Obviously, somebody else must have had it hidden away somewhere. Huh. If that Bianca did it, it's hidden within the rope. Possible, but first... Was it, rope, was it actually a rope? What? The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? Yes! No. It wasn't rope at all. 
Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that road before in my life. No, damn it. Oh, crap. Obviously, somebody else must have had it hidden away somewhere. God damn it. I hit. I had to. Uh, I don't want to do that. Ah. The difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? When ah. I, kill, I use my very own special anti user thing to just. But Chihiro was for some kind of role. That's right. It absolutely was. Then there must be something very fishy. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I've never seen that road before in my life. Crap. Obviously, somebody else. Ah. Hidden away somewhere. Suspended with for some kind of that's right. It absolutely was. Then there must be something. Hey, Yakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I've never seen that rope before in my life. Crap! Obviously, somebody else must ah! have been away somewhere. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I've never seen that rope before in my life. Damn it. No, that's wrong. Ugh, aiming. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Oh, I guess you've seen it lots of times. Because, you see, that rope, or should I say, that extension cord, what? An extension cord? Yaku, you've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time... <coughs> oh boy. ...went missing after the murder. I don't need light. And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. Ishimaru was angry! Eh. That's really what you think? Then your conclusion is something like this? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? Hmm. Interesting. He's doing it again. Totally calm, totally unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved. What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Byaki is the killer. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. He kept calling this a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Hmm. I'm sweating. Sweating the details. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? I... I think we need to talk about this a little more.
excited who did it. Shut up. Uh, sure we did. Yeah, because the game's only been like 40 minutes. Yeah, the trial's really done already. I'm sure it has been. I know, but still. I'm the protagonist. I say when this trial's over with. There's something that's still bothering you. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girls' locker room, then disguised my crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Wait. Was it just now? Something's not right. Right. the I got it. You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? How disappointing. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. She was found dead in the girls' locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. Uh, yeah. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Oh, Tagami's about to get got. Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later. Along with the rest of the murder scene. Oh. The rest of the murder scene? Oh, Tagami knows nothing for once. That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. I believe I do. Hmm. Hey, Bianca, did you just... Did I just take you off guard? Oh, ho, 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 ho. The story had suddenly moved to the crime scene. Bianca, who had been so confident up till now, maybe Tagami never realized that the actor was saying the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey. Just move on without permission? What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Oh, oh, oh. Makoto. Shh. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Yeah. Let's have a check to place else. It would have to be. It's not things that got switched. Because she's young boys. I got it. The proof that she was killed somewhere else is the poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof is some posters. The poster in the girls' locker room was a picture of a big boob supermodel. But don't you think that's kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? I think those massive jugs of hers were totally fake! <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, the boys' locker room had a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Mm -hmm. Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boys' locker room. I don't know. Maybe some boys like that kind of music. So you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sakura? Mm -hmm. You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Protein coffee? Yeah, some protein. You probably could need some, Yamada. While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. Kiri Giri gives no shit. She's like, I don't care. She's like, don't care. Are we done yet? I can solve this crime in my sleep. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. No, it's not the stain that's been scrubbed away. It was moved. I got it. The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. Nope. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's 
Definitely the stain from my protein coffee. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? Yes, keep on going, Celeste. But why would anyone do that? To move the murder scene from one locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible. Don't you think? Oh, I just pitched pretty. Pretty plausible, isn't it? Yeah. In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Huh? Mm. Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boys' locker room, then how did Chihiro get in the boys' locker room in the first place? <gasps> uh, huh, that's a good question, Celeste. To get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e handbook across the card reader device. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. Or did she? No, she did have a way, and I can tell you what it was. Yes? Yes, we know it's important to say, Hagakura? I highly doubt that. <laughs> like, shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. He, is he right? Did you really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Is it really oh. possible? Could Chico it? really have gotten into the boys' nope. locker room somehow? Ah, I got it! She must have packed her e handbook! Nope. She was the ultimate programmer, after all. Nope. I'm sure, that would have been no problem for her. Not pro- No, I don't think that's it. Oh. She used to think I was in the main hall. Huh? What then? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room. Locker room, no problem. I guess it was used to handbook if she could get in the boys' locker room. That's if she was able to use it. Is it really possible? Nope. Could Chikiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah, I got it! She must have hacked her e handbook. She was the Hack program. Hacking, it's unhackable. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used to think that was in the main hall. Hall. What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. No, 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 damn it! Ah, god damn it! She could get into the boys' locker room, no problem. Oh. I hit the wrong button again. She must have packed her e if she was the ultimate program. I'm sure that would have been. No, I don't think she used the thing that was in the main. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. No, no. No, god damn it, I did it again! She could get into the boys' locker room, no problem. Oh. Keep on hitting. I keep on hitting. <laughs> She must have packed her if she was the ultimate. I'm sure that would have been no. No, I don't think that she used the thing that was in the pot. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Oh god damn it! She, she could get into the boys' locker room, no problem. Ah! Is it really possible? She did not really have got it. Yeah, she come on, come on, come on. If she was the ultimate, I'm sure that would have been no. No, I don't think she used the thing that was in the pot. I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Yes! No, it's wrong. You're wrong! No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Oh, I hit. Oh, shoot. <coughs> Shooting's harder now. Why not? Because Leon's handbook was broken. Oh. Well, <coughs> then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? 
Yeah. Glad <coughs> we had this conversation. Hug Curry. Struck silent by how quickly you gave up. Last, isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yup, yup, yup! Hit the nail square on the noggin! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. Mm -hmm. So then, she must have hacked us, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst. You can't fix an e-handbook! The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring! So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Maybe Mr. Nayagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? Wrong? But I'm never wrong. I'm the protagonist. It seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Okay then, I vote for Byakuya. <coughs> yeah, shut up, Ishimaru. Is that it then? Sure, Kills killed the girls' locker room, and Tagami's the one who really did it. Really? But I still, I don't know what else what I can do. Hold on a second. Kiri Gary to the rescue! I agree with you though. I think you're on the right track. What the f You finally decide to open your mouth and that's what you've got to say? There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So uh oh. Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. What? What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that. Uh, Why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Just what do you think you're doing? Taking a break! Coffee break! Don't worry. This'll make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? More, more fans? More ratings? Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. Hey, two of the two of the swing sets and the seesaw. For real? Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring, or I'll be very unhappy. And you don't want me to. Hoo -hoo. And you don't want me to be unhappy. See the smile. I can't frown! It's impossible! They'll tear my stuffing! Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? Her sh coat is very s s tight. So, so before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We had half of Kiri Gary in the lead. Which took us was... Girls' locker room? We've already searched this place top to bottom. What are you trying to pull, Missy? Missy. <laughs> I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. You want us to check again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Take your time. Touch everything. Examine her carefully. Like using our hands? I, I don't touch girls. Ew, gross. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious grounds, you know? Very well. I'll do it. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. So just leave this to me. Ogami to the rescue! S Sakura? What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? That's not it at all. Stop screwing around! Okay, here I go. Here we go. Sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. 
put her hands together in a brief prayer. Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's impossible. Sakura's eyes were staring widely at Chiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This, this girl is. Is what? Is a boy. Ah, I see. So she is actually a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. <laughs> like, oh, he's, he's like, oh, it makes so much sense now. No, no, no. Uh -huh. There goes the hairdo. You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. I touched up. I touched the penis. <laughs> it's really true. You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! <coughs> like, I'm a genius! Dr. Bayer's a genius! Shihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! <laughs> <laughs> he was a cross-dresser? Oh, now I'm really on fire! I wish I had killed him! <laughs> oh, now I want... Don't get back... God. Now you totally my type. So that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. I don't care again. <laughs> yes, that certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. Choo choo! All aboard the Trial Express! Ahem. I do apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's resume the class trial. We've all just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick mm -hmm. up from there. Yes, well, I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl. But a boy. The thing that the hero was actually a guy. I bet. I thought he was. I thought he was cute. What does that say about me? Oh. That never crossed my mind. Because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male. Then yes, that would be true. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boy's locker room, and was then later moved to the girl's locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girl's locker room. Mm -hmm. So Chihiro really was killed in the boy's locker room? It was by you, wasn't it? I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This is the most titillating situation! Until so turned on! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever, we still think you're the killer, remember? <laughs> very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Ah, he's off in his own little world. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya's the killer? I'm smiling. I'm smiling at you. 
You see me that see me having that sly smile in your direction? Well, without a doubt, Byakui is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But but I Hmm. I think he might not actually be the killer after all. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? He just seems to be too easygoing about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. Mm. You think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. Oh, that's so obvious. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. Dance, dance, peasant, dance. Keep on dancing for my amusement. And Biakria, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Mark it as correct? He's right. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Are you fucking with us right now? Yes, I am. I am, peasant. I'm Tagami. I, I do what I want. No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I'm crying. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? <laughs> well, I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. You're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Biafia did it. Shut up, Hakakari. You know nothing. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. <sighs> I'm back again with that sly smile. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well, then. I'm with you, too. Ah! Oh, like, I'm calm, too. Like, like, uh, I'm all calm, too. Damn straight. Count me in. Shut up, Parker Curry. Do you not have a mind of your own? <laughs> yeah. Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? I'm a very fluffy haired ant. Anyway, let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? I like freeze tag better. If Tagami didn't do it, who's the real killer? Who murdered? Who murdered Fuyosaki? We can, we can, we can sure of the killer was a Genocide Jack girl. Okay. Come see, was in the boys' locker room. You need a boys' handbook to get in. Since the that handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have to use their own. In other words, it had to be a guy. But still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Like your argument. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing. But did nobody get a look at the killer? Sure, if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new window. God damn it. It's over. It's all over. You want to know who saw the victim? 
a killer and only the killer and it's not like they're just gonna turn themselves in game over man game over over yeah, no not game over i have continues more than the killer no it's like before he died that's actually true isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it did nobody get a I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said some. Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. It's over. It's all over. Sure. You want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. No, it's wrong. You're wrong again, Huck Curry! Yeah, better that. I mean, better that. That I was lucky. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. Huh? Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. Squeal, piggy, squeal. Whatever. Just hurry up and tell us. It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. <laughs> a track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. <laughs> well, 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 I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Because he had not think it was locker room yet. <laughs> Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Enough so that he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. Oh, what a marvelous friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. <laughs> no, you already have what you need to make the connection. Shh, like, you got, you, like, you got, you got this, Nagi. I trust you. I'm. I may be a sly, sm a smiling sly girl, but you got this. Huh? You know who the killer is. <laughs> Seriously? Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Are you sure about that? You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? What? You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. I'm in deep thought again. Easy for you to say, but fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Shihiro's jacket? Perhaps. 
Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. This Fujisaki track jacket really helps to kind of clue with the killer? Somehow that's what I had to believe. Was headed. He was ready to go exercise. Yep. So next we have to ask. Ask. Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? What do you mean the specific tracksuit? I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying is, is... the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? My mm. tracksuit is black. Uh -huh. I don't even have a tracksuit. <laughs> yeah. This exercising sucks. Uh -huh. I white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer to figuring out who the culprit is? No way. Uh. Not a chance. Uh. You heard him, right? What he just said without even realizing it? Say something off what someone just said. First of all, we know that you care if he was on his way to the next bit. Why did he choose? What do you mean? This was... I got it. it. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So, what you're saying is, is... the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? No, it's wrong. You're wrong. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? Oh. Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then I assumed he was headed off to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. Oh, boom. So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? Ooh. What are you? You just. Uh... Hey, Celeste. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Then, Mondo, how did you know what color Shihiro's tracksuit was? Kirigiri's bored again. Well, because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. No, that can't be it. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was... Is if he saw Cherry with it before he died? That's the only possibility! Cherry? Cherry? Are... Are you talking about your hero? So, how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony, She stuffed her the tra jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the bag. If you just <laughs> ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. <laughs> it would appear you've dug your own grave. Perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. That's why you said you knew who did it. To put them on edge. That's right. However... Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. But why? What made you so suspicious? That's a good question. 
<laughs> he talked when he was acting. <laughs> there was a certain turning point that ticked me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Did you notice such a tiny detail? Because I'm Kiri Gary. I'm awesome. Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Done. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, 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 uh, I didn't kill anyone. Oops. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? I don't know about say just in case it's coming up. Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. That was fast. Well, this does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. <laughs> My time has nearly come. No, it hasn't. You're useless, as usual. That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Shut up. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Hifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Oh, my God. Is he actually useful? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. Look at me, Mon. I tell you, it's got a problem in my head. If, if you really insist, then... Um... Here it is. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? It happens to be an e-handbook. I found it laying on the ground, so I scooped it up. Found the ground it belonged to... That's mine! I got it. It's you my handbook. Hero's handbook was missing from the scene of the crime, right? For a fact. For a fact indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. Then it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. It won't even turn on. I imagine the culprit broke it to get rid of any evidence after the murder. That's odd. I didn't think the handbooks were quite so fragile. You're right. They're not. They're totally waterproof and shock resistant. It would take an awful lot to break one. And yet, this one does appear to be broken. As is Leon's, sitting useless in the main hall. For all your confidence, that is a remarkably high failure rate. <laughs> Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? I'm so excited! How precisely did the handbooks get broken? Okay, it's only possibility. It bite by a bug. I hacking it. Oh, wait, I got it. You already told us before that the handbook has one weak point, didn't you? Yeah. You remember that? I'm not. I'm Noggy. I remember everything. anyone what the weak point actually was but if the handbook is supposed to never break and two of them broke in quick succession then then we can only assume that someone's figured out its weakness you know what the weakness is right monokuma so what is it tell us tell me huh? you're asking me i think it's a necessary piece of information if you want this to be a fair trial but if I tell you, and someone else decides to copy it, that would be very not good. Uh, I'm sad. Just tell us already. Why would we want to break our own handbooks? <sighs> a 
Oh, well, I have a weakness for pushy demands. But you're sure you won't follow their example? Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting-edge e-handbook is... When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown and totally break! I flippin' knew it! You knew nothing! You knew it? Yeah, because I found the handbook laying on the floor of the sauna. Oh, maybe he did know it. The temperature in the sauna can reach over 200 degrees. Strange how you don't get burnt, huh? It's because as your sweat evaporates, it creates a cooling layer of air around your skin. Thus ends Monochromous Science Corner. If the hot air of the sauna were somehow pushed directly onto your skin, you'd definitely get fried. That layer of air would get blown away. That's why you may feel a burning when you move around. So when you're in a sauna, make sure to keep nice and still. Wow, interesting. I learned one new fact today. That is a mere trifling speck of knowledge. Anyway, if you found the victim's handbook in the sauna... Now he's like, don't care anymore. Moving on. Hey, it's time for science. It's, it's murder time. And the killer must have been purposely trying to raise its temperature in order to break it. Meaning the culprit somehow knew its weakness. But how'd they find out? Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? Indeed. Quite the mystery. What if they found out by accident? What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and it broke? They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, they knew they had an easy way to dispose of it. I won't say it's not possible, but who would have done something like that? I don't know of anyone who took their handbook into the sauna. I might know someone who did. Ooh. Whoa. Seriously? Seriously. I think the one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... He's crying. Stop crying! The sauna. Really? It can only have been one person. The one. The one Billy Gunn. Here's my answer. Mondo. Your handbook got broken in the sauna, didn't it? Uh, what? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Mondo and Taka had an endurance contest in the sauna not too long ago. I, Remember? I, a day or two ago at this point. And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof. The actual solid proof. I mean, I don't believe it either, but that proves it beyond shadow of a doubt. Your argument. Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, Fine. then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all. Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, he would. Totally would. I believe my might have killed somebody. Found something that proves it without a shadow of a doubt. Let's test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. 
In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Yep, yep, yep. God damn it! See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Come on, come on, come on, spin through here again. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. God damn it. Ah, I... Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly. Come on. You gotta get through here again. If what he says is you broke your own handbook. In other words, if Mondo's handbook is actually then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Yes! No, it's wrong. You're wrong! Mondo, the uh. handbook you have right now, is it really yours? Really yours? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The broken handbook that was in the main hall. Isn't that one actually yours? What the heck are you talking about? What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook and replaced it with his own. After all, Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook never should have broken. That's right! The punishment it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. So then, the broken handbook in the main hall is actually Mondo's. Which would mean that the handbook Mondo has right now is actually Leon's, yes? Yes. But well, here's how I look at it. Oh, that's right. It's just... But it doesn't say, it doesn't say that uh, for reasons that the line your scale handbook is prohibited. I said that's bad voice. There is a rule about loaning your handbook to another student, but if they're dead, they're not a student. It's kind of a great area, I admit. But no worries. If anything, it just makes things more interesting. As such. Decree that exchanging handbooks with a corpse is not a violation of the rules. Well, Mondo, if I'm wrong about this, you're welcome to say so. I'm happy to admit I made a mistake, but son of a bitch. What's wrong, bro? C come on, tell him he's wrong. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. Oh, you're wrong. Everything you just said is wrong. You oh made boy. It all up. Oh boy. Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time from the beginning? Oh. Uh. <sighs> yeah, we should, but we'll do that next time. Never stop learning, enjoy the randomness. And give me money. No, really, just kidding. Anyways. Yeah, it's bad. Alright. Bye! I'll see you next time.